as the Kisera Veltz Award winner for 2017-18, you have the privilege of going to work in the residency at the bag factory for three months, which must have been quite fun in itself. But I think the thing that's very poignant for us in this auction is that we have two works that are included in our South African abstract sessions that are by two of the people who taught you. Um, and so I thought it'd be quite fun to hear what your view as a now as an intern at Strauss and Company, seeing you know a work by Pat and a work by David on on auction in June, and and, and what were your thoughts? Yeah, well, it's it's quite amazing to see them here, especially this one because I've seen him painted, uh -huh. and yeah, one of the things about Pat is that even when you go to his studio to say bye, you end up sitting there with him and hear him talk and paint. So like this painting, he he uses, uh, so like he makes mask that he uses as reference in his painting. So You mean masks yeah. like masks that you would use uh, to cover your face masks? Yes, but oh, he, okay. he, he doesn't use them really to cover his face. So he uses like found objects to make these masks so he can use them as reference for his paintings. So here, here like for instance, like there's a face here, which as one of the masks oh, that he makes here. here. Yeah, so it's multiple faces that he juxtaposed on one another so that he made it abstract. But it's here, it's, ref it's reference from different masks that he makes. So, yeah. the, thing that I, the thing that I like about this picture is that the color is just so fantastic, this sort of lime green it's, and orange. It's amazing, so he also uses like things around him and because he explores street, street life and the life ar around him. So he also uses objects and things in his studios for his artworks. So yeah, also these colors are also amazing. And he he works on layers upon layers mm. to you produce an image here. Yeah. And did you find being a, you know, sort of a resident student within the bag factory that, you know, he was available all the time to sort of learn from? Yeah, and and also when I, when I was battling with my ideas, I, always knew that if I go to him, I would find my way and he would help me. And so. this very interesting work by David, I mean, uh, for me, uh, the colors obviously are much subtler than this very strong. Yeah, one. what David, what, what, I, what I found out about him is that he's a man of, of, of few words, but he works hard and even at his age, I would have retired by, the, by, by then, but I know, because he turned he's... 80 long ago, <laughs> I mean, he's extraordinary. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Really is extraordinary. yeah. But he also encouraged me to like work even when I'm 300 years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, yeah. Now working within the auction world, it's quite interesting to see the other side of the fence in the sense that these two works are coming to the secondary market. I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, obviously to be able to now see it going through the journey of cataloging, up for review, people coming to see it and hopefully selling really well on the night. Well, the, the journey is amazing, and it's amazing how works can stay in, in, in one's home and later on be, be auctioned again and resold and also revalued. So it's, it's, it's really amazing, and it's a privilege watching the journey of this auction.